What's up, my strong natural friends? Day after Christmas, when I recorded this video, doing legs and arms. All right, I like to start off with my leg curls just to get my legs warmed up, get the muscles firing, getting older. Injuries happen more frequently. And we were going to be doing it with lower body, obviously, the wearing some uh, new leggings that my girlfriend got me for Christmas. Ladies, if you have a man who works out, just get him work out there. He's going to love you for it. Chances are most likely. Alright, so we're getting into the, the real meat and potatoes of this workout. Alright, started the warm up with some barbell back squats. To be honest, day after Christmas, I really wasn't feeling like training, but I had to go into the gym to try and get it in. I'm trying to achieve some things in 2017. It's kind of a secret. Maybe I'll uh, make the cat out the bag a little bit later. But uh, just sort of for some squats, trying to pause at the bottom, get my legs warmed up for my heavy sets later on. Uh, you'll see in the, in the, at the end of the workout, I actually really put the, what I did for the day at the bottom. I'm sorry, at the end of the, this video. All right. So we're doing our first working set right now. It's gonna be, this is like 315 for six reps. I tried to get up to four or five for six. I can see later on, a little uh, funny thing happened. But again, trying to go down really, really slow, firing up out of the hole, really trying to work the legs. Um, I know the camera wasn't really focused. I was recording the whole time and I was like, what the fuck? Like, not focusing. But I ended up fixing it for the latter part of the video. Amazing. All right, so here, camera's fixed. Had four or five on the bar, and I wanted to try and get six reps, but I only got one. I was dead fucking tired, man. I don't know why. Uh, day before, I went to my girlfriend's family's house for her holidays this year. So I just switched it up, just picked Thanksgiving at my family's, and then I went to hers for the holidays. I only got one rep, which is pretty uh, pathetic. So I was like, you know what, fuck this. I'm gonna lighten the weight, and then I actually finished up with a set of front spots for six reps. Moving really, really slow. As you can see, whatever. I don't really care as long as I get that. I'm not done. Uh, yeah. Pretty much it. I'm kind of new to this whole YouTube thing. I don't really know what to talk about, but besides my workouts, if you guys have any advice, you can uh, email me any questions. I have a few things that I'm working on for the future to go along with my Jerome Natural stuff. So, yeah, I racked it as fast as I could. Pretty much moving like a sloth. About to put the clips on. I'm gonna snatch your shit up if you mess up. So, did some front squats. I don't know how people, I don't really have the wrist flexibility to hold the bar uh, with my hands up towards my throat. I don't know why I just never practiced doing that, but uh, this is how I front squat. Try to get as deep as possible. Squat out of the hole. Stand up, squeeze the glutes. Got six reps here. Freaking dead tired, man. Don't know why. It wasn't even that, that intense of a workout. Okay, so here we got some Bulgarian split squats. I don't know how you guys do them, but I like to use the Smith machine to put the my foot exactly where I want it to be. It's like the best contraction for my quad. Uh, the way the gym is set up, I had to hold on to this pole right here. A lot of people like to not hold on to anything, I guess because they want to help us in their balance or whatever. I don't give a shit, it's bullshit. Uh, my goal is to try and work my muscles. All right, I'm trying to hit my quads here. A little bit of hand glutes, you know. Um, a lot of people want to do Bulgarian split squats, but don't understand necessarily that it's actually a progression. What I would do, start off with just regular split squats, and then eventually move on to the Bulgarian Switch Point there. 
an awesome exercise. You can do like a lot of different things as far as tempo, maybe doing some pauses at the bottom or pulses. Don't do the full range of motion going up and down. I decided to uh, switch to this ankle so you guys can see that I was trying to go as deep as I could. I used a, a pad for my, my little foot. I don't want to get hurt, get a little boo boo. Amazing. Anyway. Uh, yeah, pretty much trying to bang out eight reps. For these uh, sets, for this week specifically, I was trying to Amazing. not go any higher than eight reps from my legs. Right? Um, trying to stay with uh, a little bit of like functional hypertrophy between uh, six to eight reps, pretty much. Amazing. Now doing the stretching part of the little bit of hamstring work with some RDLs. Again, trying to move slowly going down, come up, squeezing the glutes. Very important trying to stretch as far down as you can. Uh, I don't know how old you guys are. I'm 33, I'm getting up there. Not as young as I used to be. So flexibility has become a problem for me as a lot older. Uh, now I'm really trying to focus on stretching and all this. Oh, this. So pretty much what I'm trying to do here, I compete as a bodybuilder, and I believe that in between sets you should really be trying to like pose and flex the muscles to try and help bring out a little bit of detail and definition whenever you're training. So this is me just uh, focusing on squeezing the hamstring. All right. So legs is done. Just trying to do some arms, a little bit of unilateral bicep curl. As you can see. Who the fuck was that guy? Anyway, nah, I know him. He's a really, really cool guy. Works out. If you guys, most of you guys know, you see um, other YouTubers. This is a gym in Manhattan. It's called Mid City Gym. It's uh, kind of a hardcore gym somewhere I like to train. I don't really train any clients out of here because I try and keep it separate from the gym I work out at. Uh, it's kind of like my time. I do a lot of other things during the day as far as like working on programming. Uh, I run my own company pretty much so like a lot of things I need to do. This is the gym for me. It's like the only, it's like my space where I really don't want to be bothered that much. And I talk to a few people here, not really that many people. Just trying to come in, work out, get in, get out. Even though I do spend a ton of time in the gym whenever I'm training. I see this unilateral bicep crawl. Then I like to do a lot of uh, different angles for different exercises, obviously. Uh, these are supinated tricep uh, pushdowns. For these specifically, I like to do them because it works more on the medial head, the long head of the tricep. Um, just trying to focus on getting good tempo. You gotta put your hand on your hip. I'm a little teapot. Think about it always whenever you're not just being a good uh, Yeah, pretty much just trying to get a good contraction on the tricep. All right. So yeah, that was the workout pretty much for the most part. Um, at the end, I'm just gonna show you guys a pic of me competing. All right, that's the competed a few years ago. I'm trying to get that condition a little bit tighter and the good separation in the hamstrings, triceps, stuff like that to the this day. All right, this is the workout that I did for the day. Try it out, let me know what you think. Comment down below. Like and share this video. If you have any questions, you can email me. Make yourself better today. See you later, guys. Bye.